Cody Hutch Slam. Everybody, hello. It's good to be here. Here we are again. Episode three of the Hinchcliffe Notes. Heck yeah, a huge success. How's the crowd out there tonight? They're here. They're live in the flesh. It's actual people. You did a weird thing today. You texted me something that I couldn't tell if you were just super, super stoned or fuck fucking with me. I was super stoned. <laughs> He's a. Uh, what, what did you say? You said, hey, uh, I got a good idea. If you if you think it's a good idea, why don't we change the name to the podcast? Well, we never officially named it. I wanted to name it Hinchcliffe's Notes, and then you started saying, well, it's a pilot, so you can change the name. And then I started thinking, well, I mean, now that, now that that's in the air, maybe it's changeable. Well, it's already episode three now. Oh, okay. But, but your idea was, like, completely weird to Well, me. it seemed weird. I was going to explain it more to you, but then we were just texting, and I'm like, I'm not going to call just to explain the thing. Right. But if we talk about it, somebody else is going to do it. Right. Because it does have a thing. Because the kill in the thing would have oh. meant that you were making me laugh. I see. All right, that makes sense. Yeah. I thought it was just random. He wanted to call it Kill Tony. And, like, have a Kill Bill, have it be, like, Kill Bill themed where I'd be, like, in a yellow suit with a sword and shit for its cover. Yeah, I kind of like And in that Kill Bill font. Because comedians are doing time, and if you, if you make me laugh, that's pretty awesome. That's right? actually a really good idea now that you explained it. It yeah. makes so much more sense. Yeah, I know. I thought before you <laughs> would just think so. that I was trying to be cool, like, hey, Kill Tony. And then it would be, like, Kill Bill themed, just, like, something that would be, But if you kill, what I meant, it means kill on stage, not, like, kill. Right. Yeah, I was not even thinking that though. Heck maybe, yeah. maybe if other people that wouldn't get that either, unless you're like a hardcore comic or something like that. You know, if you just saw right. that podcast, you'd be like, right. "Kill Tony." I'm like, "What's that?" But it does seem sort of edgy, you know. It does. Kill Tony. It's like, easier what's, what to would say. That be about? Yeah, it's definitely easier to say. And it's definitely easier to spell. I mean, that's a huge deal with Hinchcliffe's notes. Is, I mean, and there's an apostrophe in it. It's not really hashtagable. That's I what say, I've been "Kill thinking. Tony's up there, man." I, really? What yeah. do you guys think? Hinchcliffe's notes or Kill Tony? Oh, really? Well, that seems like it's it. Kill Tony. This what? is the third episode of this podcast, but this uh, we'll say that this is the first one in which the new... Wait, you know what? I like what you're thinking. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our head of security here, as always, the Iron Patriot. Um, nice to see you guys tonight. I'm the Iron Patriot. I will lead us into battle against anyone who would threaten our way of life. Hell yeah. He always uh, keeps me safe, makes sure that nobody fucks with me physically, and... Uh, He's uh, perhaps one of the least mobile superheroes in recorded history. Uh, is Brody? You can say what you want, though. It's very difficult to wear this costume. Thing. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. Is that uh, you know, unlike uh, like uh, Bruce Wayne or Tony Stark, um, your suit is a little bit uh, more armored. Yes. If this is no CGI. If you want to go see a pansy, go to the movie. This is the real thing. Wow, oh. look at that. He's, he's feisty <laughs> under there. Well, he's been doing the podcast. Uh, he's been taking a tour of all the podcasts. Well, there. yeah, we he's found out he came up to us yeah. just a moment ago. He always shows up perfectly uh, just a few minutes before the show. And he says, after I was on the, the, your episode last week as your head of security for the first time, because that was his first show was last week, he said, all of a sudden my podcast confidence got up. I did the Adam Carolla podcast. Oh! No! On no! Wednesday. He, he's part owner of an Italian restaurant down at Beverly Hills. There you go. A 48-hour turnaround. If you're on my podcast, you get another podcast. <laughs> uh, so, you know, that's exciting. And uh, and then what was the other podcast? Friday, I went to the Hollywood Improv for Kevin Smith's show. Wow. Oh, Jesus and I thought Christ. he likes comic books. I thought I asked him if he likes the Iron Pager from the comics or the Iron Pager from the Iron Man. And, then, and was his answer, Security! I love it. The costume was cool. We did a picture, and he was, he's a real nice guy. Hell yeah, man. I got, a picture. I got pictures on my Twitter page. And then you mentioned, uh, you mentioned getting here was a little bit tough tonight, huh? Yes, uh, the bus went right by me. Uh, I, <laughs> I was the only one at the bus stop, and I put out my stop sign, and it just went right by me. I think the lady thought she had a crazy look on her face like I was crazy. You, you need to have like a like a flag or something. Well, what's the universal sign for stop the bus? What, what like I this. Do? Yeah, I should have done that because I went like this. Yeah, she thought you were just I posing. Was doing the Iron Man thing. Yeah. That was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> but, so the bus passed you up. Luckily, the second bus picked you up, yeah, right? Yeah, because there was other people standing there with me. Right. Oh. oh. So I got to do it, Red Band. I got to do this thing. Yeah, do the wave thing. Actually, block. I need to get out and 
Right. No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's put that armor to the test. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. Like Brody Stevens said last week uh, on the podcast, he was, uh, he was on it, and he said that he saw the Iron Patriot walking here. I said, what did... Uh, what did that look like? He said, a lot of 90-degree angles. <laughs> it's, tough for, uh, it's tough for an iron pitcher. this building was wheelchair accessible. Right. Because there's a lot of stairs here. Right. So do most of my girlfriends. There you go. Uh, that's bad. Brian loves the handicapped girls. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> He's, uh, he's I, I quit smoking today, and I'm trying not to drink. What? <laughs> I, and I'm trying not to drink. Uh, it's my like, day two or three of not drinking, wow. so I'm very irritable. So you haven't had a cigarette all day? And no dick pills for the last five days. Oh, my God. You know what it is? I, I just don't want to fuck like crazy if I don't take those boner pills. I just want to sleep. Well, maybe you need some sleep. Well, maybe I do. I also <laughs> realized that... that since I stopped, I, it really is something I don't do. I never drink water. And, like, you're supposed to drink, what, six cups of water yeah. a day? I only drink Starbucks, and I think of it, well, it's an iced coffee. There's right. water in it. That counts, right? Yeah, yeah. It does yeah. count, right? A little? It All does. Right. It, yeah, it does a little bit. But, yeah, I'm the same way. I, dr I barely drink any water. I try to drink a half a glass in the morning and, like, some at night. But I'm the worst. So I started drinking water. I bought, I bought I have this case of water. And I'm like, all right, I might force myself to drink water. I drink, like, 14 bottles of water in, like, four hours. Wow. Heck, yeah. So your body's just catching up on all this stuff that it hasn't had the last few months, water and sleep and right. not having a boner for a couple hours at a time. Well, how I noticed that, that uh, I was very dehydrated is my gums are inflated right now. Like, they're supposed to be, like, filled with water and tissue and stuff, and they're just, like, empty. And I wow. noticed. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Iron Patriot, do you ever drink? Um, not when I'm working. There you go. If you can give me a little, um, little bit of a bud to go home every night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Iron Patriot just asked me for pot. <laughs> that's a, that's a good yeah. man. Fuck yeah, I have some. Uh... All right. Some I feel about eleven in this room right now. I need a cigarette so bad. <laughs> All right, let's get the show going, Tony. I, I, I'm a little disappointed that you decided to quit smoking on the day of a of a podcast of my podcast. Like it's strategic. Like well, I could be irritable for this one. I mean, you you work you work so hard every day of the week. Why do why do why does mine have to be the one where your foot's about to shake off of the rest of your leg? <laughs> I love it. I'm excited. You guys ready to uh, meet our uh, guest tonight? Put your hands together. Uh, two of the funnier friends that I have in the world. Um, uh, one, it, well, I'll just bring them up one at a time. Uh, first, um, one of my really good friends, very funny uh, man, um, uh, is uh, a regular here at the Comedy Store, one of the fastest rising talents. You may have heard him on the WTF podcast with Mark Marin. He has his own podcast called uh, Let There Be Talk. Put your hands together for my pal, Dean Del Rey, everybody. He's here. One of the nicest guys in the business. Always has nothing but nice things to say about everybody. That's why I think he'll be a, he'll be a fun, uh, hopefully, good cop to my bad cop at times when I have to be. Yeah. And then uh, I'm so lucky to have uh, my second guest here tonight. She is my one and only writing partner. One of the funniest human beings I know, somebody who I trust when I'm running stuff, the only writing partner that I have. She writes with me on Comedy Central's The Burn. She was just on Chelsea lately. Craig Ferguson got called over to the couch. It's Sarah Tiana, everybody. Yeah. Another quick, fast-rising L.A. comedy talent. Thank you, Tony. Two of my favorite people. Thanks for having uh, me. Of course. As always, I went down to the front patio when 40 comedians were signing up earlier for the open mic in a different room at a different time in which they get three minutes if they're picked. Uh, people sign up for mine. We're going to do it a little bit differently this week. Uh, normally, um, the first 15 that sign up just get up right away and that's it. Uh, what we're doing tonight is a random pick out of a bucket oh, lottery. Oh, random. Yeah, so the, the, this segment, instead of tag it or fag it, it's going to be bucket or fuck it. <laughs> yeah. And um, <laughs> that sounds sweet. Hell yeah! So it's normally tag it or faggot, right? Okay. Well, sometimes with faggot with a ph, by the way. Yeah. And then we changed it to bagot. 
And then today I was kicked out of a, a webcam room for using the word retard because I didn't know the girl that was fingering herself had a retarded brother. Oh. oh. Was it retard with a PH, though? Yes. <laughs> so you went no cigarettes, no boner pills, no drink, but, <laughs> but you're calling the girl on your webcam a retard? No, I said, <laughs> I said, I would like to take you to Olive Garden and have sex with you in the bathroom. And she's like, that would be fun, but how would we do it? And I was like, I could act like your retarded brother. I could go to the bathroom with you. And then she got pissed off and said her brother was a retard. <laughs> Well, then that's accurate. Then it's a true story. Yeah. If she's doing It'll a webcam. The twin brothers. <laughs> she's day. doing a webcam, a uh, live it's webcam, she'd real. probably be the kind of girl that would want to get fucked by her retarded brother <laughs> in an olive garden. So hilarious. She's offended by that. I would rather get being fucked at the olive garden. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I would rather get fucked by her <laughs> retarded brother <laughs> than getting, Red Band. <laughs> getting, fucked with the, getting fucked with the smell of garlic in the air in a public restroom sounds great, but you better not call my retarded brother a retarded brother. <laughs> Absurd. How dare you? No offense, Red Band. Special needs... Uh, it does sound funnier anyway. If I How often does that pickup line work in those chat rooms? I, see, I have a huh. thing now. I have this stupid addiction. I'll probably never do anything with it where I screen capture myself inside of uh, like web room, you know, like sex cam rooms, right? Yeah. And then while everyone else is like, oh, you're so hot, I'll just be like, like inserting images of Olive Garden food and just being like, I would love to take you to the Olive Garden and stuff like that. And just to, and I record the reactions of what they say. And sometimes they're like laughing their ass off while they're trying to, you know, fuck themselves. Yeah. Other times they just ban me or shit like that. But I want to take all those videos and put it into like a, an hour movie. That's good. <laughs> an hour movie. <laughs> I used to try. To, I used to just try to say the rudest shit to get them off. You know, like off the line. So I'd be like, Oh, I want to eat your shit. Wow. And they'd be like, out. That yeah. got them every time. Right. Well, that Wait, you, you would chance. heckle their chat room? Yeah. Oh, I would wow. just get on there, right, and just say stuff like, uh, <laughs> I want your turd to be like the Statue of Liberty. I want to grab it and hold it up like a fire. And then what if they wow. stay on? They never do. <laughs> Not on turd stuff. Are you They're sure out. it's what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're out on turd stuff. You know what I do? I just uh, I don't log on to those things. Just Damn. have sex. That's my that's my Well, mood. you got to get with it. <laughs> what do you uh do you do you use anything when you masturbate, Sarah? I know that you're very like you're from the south. You're uh -huh. a very very good girl. Mm -hmm. Um you like to have your fun. I mean, you're a real woman. There's mm -hmm. a, there's a lot of chemicals and stuff going on in there. <laughs> you're very powerful. <laughs> yeah. it, it takes a lot to run an entire enterprise. Like Sarah runs mm -hmm. herself as like a business. The schedule's packed. Always, she's trying a to build fucking, an empire here. These two are two of the hardest working people, and I know a lot of people in this city. <laughs> and that term gets thrown around a lot. Hardest working people in Hollywood. This is truly, and I didn't really even think about it until right now. You guys are two of the hardest hustlers. Hey, can I say something about Dean before we start? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Thanks, Iron Patriot. Thanks for stopping his compliments toward me. <laughs> He's really. definitely on something about that shit stuff. You have the timing of a green <laughs> goblin character. <laughs> this, this has something to do with what you're talking about. I listened to Dean on the Mark Maron podcast today. Wow, you did? He wants to DJ for the Rolling Stones. That's right. He said one time Mick Jagger was on the Rolling Stones and he said, Dean, you should have DJed for the Rolling Stones. Right. Yeah, that, that's true. <laughs> but, there's, uh, a, there's a recap from, Mick from a different podcast. Yeah, thanks for yeah. pumping that one. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> a thumbs up from Mick Jagger, yeah. huh? What are yeah. you gonna give an applause break right, from uh, Kiss sometimes? Yeah, <laughs> fuck, I'm just blowing up. The golf clap. <laughs> so fun. That's cool. Thanks for listening. That. Um, it's our, not an interesting life. I just I thought it was. Thank you so much. Girl. Oh yeah. Thank you, man. Definitely. I've heard a lot of great about that yeah. interview. On, it's uh, good. It's fun. Uh, I had, it was a time in my life. No joke. I could do Mark Maron's podcast. It's like in fuck. the garage, right? Yeah, man. Wow. It's. Uh, it's pretty Did you get nervous beforehand like you know i i never told this story and i'll tell this story on here because oh, it's pretty fucking funny i've always wondered what it would be like because i've thought about you know i, I sort of a, have an idea of the layout and i yeah. know mark i mean yeah yeah well a couple days before i had done a show in san diego and i was riding home in the middle of the night and i hit a pothole on my bike and smashed my balls completely like oh and and over a couple of days it got worse and worse. So I went to the hospital. Is it like cooked garlic? Like you know when you push it on like a cracker? This just felt like fucking fire. Like my balls were on fire the whole time. I didn't oh. know what's wrong. I thought I had ball cancer or something. 
So I go to the doctor, <laughs> and they go, well, we're going to check you. Is this you. during the podcast? This with is Mark two Mayer? days before oh, the okay. podcast. They give me these pills. So I'm on these pills doing the podcast. <laughs> and so when I left, I didn't even remember the podcast at all wow. until I listened to it. And I was like, wow, we made it, <laughs> you know. About that. I was pretty loaded on you some did, pain. How are your balls you got, now? What did they diagnose that as? They were good, thank God. They just said you have smashed balls. Uh -huh. Wow. Uh, I, but I thought I had testicular cancer, and this is for you guys out here if your balls ever hurt. If they hurt, testicular cancer doesn't hurt. <laughs> right. So you don't have that. Yeah. And there's a weird thing that was going on. It was a hot Asian girl that was sonaring my balls. Mm -hmm. So as she was sonaring my balls... She said, what do you do? And I said, I'm a comedian. And she's like, oh, do you know Chris <laughs> Oh, there Why you my go. balls were in her hand. So it was like a strange threesome going on. <laughs> she, she was like, can you introduce me to him? I'm like, my balls are in your hand. You know, so that was weird. If I don't die of That's ball true, cancer, though. Like, I can what introduce what you. What kind of etiquette do they got That's at horrible Kaiser? etiquette. It's yeah. just what what a what a what a tease that they would use an Asian girl as the ball rubber. Right? You know? I know that's yeah. just Kaiser. The least happy ending <laughs> possible. I need to crush my balls ASAP, Rocky. Yeah, but Kaiser. I felt like I was at one of Red Band's rub map places. Yeah. Oh, I don't need to bring that up. My f favorite place closed down last. Week. Oh, it did. Yeah. Which oh, one? Oh no! Now you have to quit that too. <laughs> place in Lancashire. <laughs> oh my God. Right. Was it an Olive Garden restroom? You're gonna feel so much better, Red Band, now that you quit drinking and when you quit smoking. Like you'll you'll probably have way, way better sex. Do you think so? Mm hmm That's yeah. impossible. It really is. No. I need impossible. to buy a tarp oh. for my bed then. <laughs> you probably should buy a bed that's not on the floor. <laughs> I have a four thousand dollar bed. I'll oh. put my bed up against your bed. I spend more money on my bed than anything else. <laughs> that you, makes sense. You sleep twelve hours a day. No. But you sleep 12 hours right. a day. Right. Most of us sleep life. six to eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, That's I love so sleep. funny. Me too. Fuck. Oh it's easier God. not to smoke when you're sleeping. You spend so much money on your bed. But you, you wear you're in your bed. I, don't, that, I have this, <laughs> this thing where like, I, I go to girls' houses and they have like a fucking $200 bed. You know, it's like a, a, a queen or something like that. And you wake up the next day and you want to shoot people because you're in so much pain. And I was like, why do you have such a shitty bed? And she goes, what? It's nice for me. I was like, look, you're in, you're in bed almost half your life. Why wouldn't you spend as much money as a car, which you're only in for what, 30 minutes a day? Wow. So when you have sex with girls, you have sex with them in their bed? Yeah. That's shocking. It's... I didn't. I would never imagine that. Why? Where? About the ground? I don't know. Alley? Olive Garden is like about? what you led with. <laughs> So I don't imagine you in bed with a lady. Oh. No. What a hater, what? right? Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're so <laughs> moody right now. What's, what's going on with you? You were on a date a couple weeks ago. You still with that dude? On a date. Uh, Remember, what, you, you said one? it was going good. I don't know. You guys went somewhere. Oh, she must have had the herpy talk. <laughs> the herpy talk. <laughs> what's that? How'd the date go? Which, um, I Ooh, went on, which one? Yeah, yeah, I've been on a few the, lately. The white one. Yeah, they're all white. <laughs> oh yeah, she, <laughs> she's from the south. I uh. <laughs> Would you ever go on a date with the Iron Patriot? <laughs> <laughs> he just told me to stop. <laughs> Thank you. I like unlimited breadsticks. <laughs> <laughs> How does that knock it off? <laughs> Do I like bananas? What the okay. fuck does that mean? Oh, I don't my know. God. All right. What I'm do you guys scared. say we start the, uh, <laughs> the uh, what's it Comedy? called? Fuck it or fuck it? Yeah. Fuck yeah, everyone. This is exciting. <laughs> so uh, we're picking out of a, a bucket. Um, comedians get to do one minute of whatever they want, and then we give notes or say whatever we want, how we feel about it in any way, shape, or form. I know people They get some live roots. feedback. Okay. Starting it off. Put your hands together for Scout Derwood, everybody. Scout. Kicking it off. Scout Derwood. <laughs> it's a chick. Whoa, it's a lady. Oh, she's putting her hair up. Wow. She's getting snow. She's getting, she's getting serious. Um, cool. Well, I don't, I don't want to brag, but I'll take just a second to do that. Uh, I happen to be uh, a lady who dates ladies, big homosexual. And usually that gets an applause break, which I, I, I think we earn it because uh, we have to march for marriage equality just like so, so early in the morning. Like every March, it's like 8 a.m. And I don't know how much you guys know about the gays. Um, 
It's over called the gays. But if it's too early for brunch, we're pretty much not signed up for it. For the men and for the ladies, like 8 a.m., that's we definitely, like we definitely have softball practice then. Um, yeah, and people are like, oh, it must be hard to be gay. And it's like, no, you just go to college. Um, pretty much come out gay. We have our own set of struggles. I was driving with my mom. We were lost, and she was like, go straight. You know, and I was like, stop telling me how to live my life. Um, woman. And then I got, I did get beat up in a hate crime, though, uh, which is, who would do that? I'm so pretty. Um, All right, that's the full minute. Uh, wow. Scout that was Airwood. Is that the sound that means yeah. it's done? Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's when you know it's been a minute when you hear the kitty meow. Oh, it's a cat meowing? I think so. I thought it was like, yeah. oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> something What's like that. What's that sound like to you? I don't know. I thought it was like a rooster clucking or something. Or a chicken clucking. A chicken fucking? Oh, I think you could do whatever you want. No, you stay you here. stay there. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm not in charge. Fuck yeah. First of all. Scout. Uh, what, what do you? What do you? What do you guys? What do you? What do you, what do you guys uh, think about the uh, lesbian? Are you really a lesbian? Yeah. See, I wouldn't give it a pl- applause it. break because you're very beautiful. I would actually boo this. My my girlfriend's real pretty too. That's just. Oh, your girlfriend's awesome. really pretty. That's usually the opposite. I mean, you're kind of hot, and usually you would go like for a trucker or something, right? right. She uh, she's the number one female quarterback in the world. Wow. Oh, oh that must, oh. that's huge in the lesbian. Can you Google her right? <laughs> right? That, that, right that, that's like uh yeah. that's fucking And do you play the center show. ever? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No? Uh, okay. no. <laughs> not in Hurley. Uh, I thought it was I thought it was uh uh pretty good. Yeah. There was some there was some, I laughed out loud once. I think you could do some more specific stuff for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely. Like, when you say like college, talking about the top female uh, quarterback that yeah. you're dating. That'd be great. But also like, when yeah. you say go to college, like you should name the specific college that you went to. You just need to paint a picture a little bit more. Yeah, maybe make it more story like, like like actually real life, like instead of like at the college, like you're saying, kind of like explain like I went to college, and, you know, it was a really nice, you know, kind of. Paint a picture for everyone. Yeah. Pretty much. Did you find out you were? Uh, did you commit to? Did you come out of the closet when you were in college or before? Uh, when I was in. When I was nineteen. So wait, you were in college. I was in college, but I didn't sleep. I slept with a man once in Belize when I was twenty-four. Whoa! Wow! So you oh, so just after, to make sure? Af- yeah. You've never slept with an American? Uh, now I have, but that's. Well, that an American man, later. I mean. Yeah, that happened oh. way later. Wait, oh. you, you've done a few things. Uh, the I yeah. When I moved from New York to L.A., I I did sleep with some guy. I went through a breakup, and I say that it's because the men in Los Angeles look so much like the lesbians in New York. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. That's a good joke. Yeah, that's yeah. That's a good joke. That's in there. What was the first joke you said? The one about um, uh, oh, take a moment. Jo- the 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 March joke. The marriage. Oh yeah, the March. Joke. That's new. See, I just don't understand. I, I, I never feel like gay people sleep late. Yeah, me neither. They seem more efficient than yeah. uh, straight <laughs> yeah. people. Well, they um, po- popped up ready to fuck. But it is a fun misdire- a misdirect to set up for the softball thing. But also, when you say March, I think of the um, month as well. Oh, right. Like rally, maybe. Yeah. Parade. Protest. Parade, protest. Yeah. I think it's different than a parade. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, they have those, a lot of those too. You could probably say both protests. Well, maybe you should tell us the difference between a rally and a parade and a yeah. march. That could be a funny joke. Yeah, <laughs> and definitely something about the top quarterback. The quarterback. I mean, she, that's ridiculous. I play the ukulele, and she's actually her day job is as a ukulele like rock and roller. So wow. we're like two lesbians with ukuleles. That's awesome. Wow. You ever need a human like uh, vibrator in the bedroom one? Chicks night? love musicians. Yeah. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Red Chicks Band's going to try to convert you one more time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you can just use me as like a vibrator. Chicks, uh, chicks love musicians, right? Yeah, Ding. they do. Yeah. yeah. Heck yeah. That's adorable. Anyway, uh, I mean, put your hands together for Scout, Scout Derwood, everybody. There she goes. That's, good. That's a tag it. Yeah. I feel like there's a joke with her name and being a lesbian too. Like Definitely. scouts. Definitely. Uh, my scouts name. Are my name. Gay. My name is Scout, but yeah, I'm scouting for girls. <laughs> scout yeah, for yeah, girls. Something like that. Yeah. Or, or boy scout, right? <laughs> Anti boys scout. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. No boy scout. <laughs> Dean, you uh, you ever hook up with a girl because they said that you look like a lesbian? 
<laughs> I, you know, I would. You could be like a butchy one. Yeah, I, I, it's funny because I was, just, I was just in San Francisco <laughs> and there's lesbians that look like me. I'm such a butchy <laughs> lesbian. They're just like, good show. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> hilarious. It's true. Uh, Steve. You should go up to cute lesbian chicks and uh, say, I'm such a, after your shows, you go, I'm such a butch lesbian that I have a penis. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm the real deal. That is, you, know, you are about as butch of a lesbian as it gets. Well, I was trying to figure it out. <laughs> if you're going for a full-blown butch, just go dude. Right? Well, I mean, why go rubber? I got distracted dude, just now by uh, Red Band smoking three e-cigarettes at one time. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what kind of alien light show is going on to my left. Because there's just uh, one more thing on stage that he can't have. That's yeah. why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Heck yeah. Who's next? Uh, fuck yeah. Let's keep it moving. Your next uh, comedian talking about weight loss, Hormoz Rashidi, everybody. <laughs> Hormos are cheating. Missing his spot. That son of a bitch. That means it's time for Jerron Horton. Here he is. A regular. I've seen him here before. Jerron Horton is back. For another minute in the chamber. Hi, Jerron. Hey, what's up? Uh, from Georgia. From Georgia. Great idea. There we go. I miss the racism out in Georgia, you know? <laughs> out here it's too subtle. Like every time a white man says, thanks brother, like I assume he means, hey, you're black, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> you know, I come from a long line of races. Uh, my grandma, she's German, you know, immigrated here from Germany and everything. She's racist, but she's supportive, you know. Uh, black people, uh, everyone, ah, uh, shit, how does it go? Sorry, it's no. Um, she's racist, but she's supportive. Uh, maybe if black people, don't, don't meow me, please. Maybe if black people <laughs> pull their pants up, everyone always think they were stealing. And uh, maybe if Mexicans just learn how to pronounce the letter J, maybe they can get a real job. And you know, Jews can be more trustworthy if they just, never mind. Yeah, that's it. I'm sorry, I fucked that up. Is that, uh, when you said never mind, is that part of the joke? That was the joke, yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was the, that was the Because you don't want to say anything bad about Jews. No, that... no, no, the, the, the main punchline of it, I'm, I messed it up. Because she's German, she oh, doesn't, uh. Oh, that's right, I forgot about that. Yeah, okay. she's German, I was just, uh, it didn't flow because I fucked that, fucked the joke up. Fuck yeah. But, um. I mean, it feels like if she's gonna say, if like, if she is gonna say, am I supposed to be giving like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, if she's gonna say, uh, Mexicans can pronounce the word pr to me, I think that Germans can't pronounce things. Mm -hmm. So if she's saying all of this with an accent, yeah, you know what I mean. And then yeah. the last thing she says is like, maybe if Mex, if well, you see, know, my, with that joke, like, like when I tried it, I, I, the Mexicans I even though I'm been around my grandma for my whole life. I, I can't do a German accent. Oh, okay. Das ist gut. Can you try yeah. her for a second? Try one. Uh, say 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 that again. Das ist gut. Das ist gut. Well, you got to say uh, something else. Mexicans, well, what's that? What's Mexicans uh, pronounce the letter J. Is that right? <laughs> no. <laughs> that was your regular yeah. voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my German. Mexican. The Sam Tripoli <laughs> approach to accents Amazing. just louder. <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't do accents. Kick-ass accents there. Unfortunately. Okay, let's let's say okay, you're a white guy because the black guys always no, have the guy. white guy. I mean, it, I can't really do it because I'm light, so light-skinned. It doesn't really work for me. But, uh, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you can't do it because you're light skinned? What does like, that mean? It doesn't. I can't sell it. Like it's. They think. I I'm, think he already sells. I, it, like, when, when I when I do it, like oh. I I think that like yeah exactly. That's what he's saying. That's what, yeah, right. that's I, what really I thought. You're, I'm not saying that you. You yeah. sound like you. You don't sound yeah. like white person or a black like, person. You sound wait, like talk Tony, say that's a, that's sort of a funny joke. Like I even <laughs> sound light skinned. <laughs> yeah, that is good. I, I, I good. sound lighter than black. I yeah. sound like I don't sound I sound, white. I sound, I sound white light skinned. Maybe I don't sound white, but which I definitely sucks sound when you call skin. people. You know what yeah, I mean? Right. Yeah, you want to be exactly. gangster? You're like, hey man, I'm coming by. Oh no, Instead I, of like, I don't yo wanna, motherfucker. No, I don't want to be gangster. No, gangsters get killed. Yeah, there you go. I don't want to be. What do you? What do you? That's a great premise. What do I want to be? Yeah, I want to be a. Like, comedian? <laughs> comedian. I want to be successful in comedy. Mm -hmm. I ain't got to be the richest, but I just want to be comfortable. Yeah. 
There yep. you go. You know I think it's so important to talk about real things and like if that's really how your grandmother is, yeah. you have to deep dig deeper into that. You okay. know, like I need to know more about her. I mean, I'm sure you probably have more about her. Yes, you just yes, have the I one minute. Do. But I definitely like, do have more about it. Yeah, I mean, because yeah. that's a really interesting dynamic. Like, hey, um, like if uh, growing up with a German grandmother and she's white. Yes. Okay. Right. How long have you been doing comedy? I've been doing comedy for three years. Three years. Mm -hmm. it, it, what's going to be funnier is if you just ditch the standard Mexican, black, yeah. and that's it. Just get rid of that and yeah. start telling us about you and your grandma, whatever. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter about the race or anything. Yeah. Find some funny stuff in there because yeah. you don't want to sound like the 30 dudes you're going on around. Yeah. That are doing that same stuff. But, but with, with with well with the way I know because it didn't it didn't flow too well. But like the way that I the way that I was kind of wanting it to go was like, yeah, like show her the the main punchline was the, the the about Jews. Like she can say that black people can be better if they do this. Mexican people can be better if they do that. Right. But Jews can't be better. There's no way they can be better. But that's just a fact. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I just, yeah. yeah, we're looking for the well, joke. I think, there. I think yeah. <laughs> Work on it. Hopefully, we'll no, see it next I week. Do, yeah. I, do, I do, I do, but I think if you already have stuff about your grandmother, that can work and fit in there. Okay, but There's it could be a, a, a this and that. Like normal grandmothers say this, and my grandmother always said this. And there's this. definitely a, a joke in sounding light skin. Yeah, That's, sounding light that, skin. That, that, yeah. that can be all yours. I will. Jeron Horton, everybody. Thank there you great go. job, Jeron. I'm a little biased uh, towards him because he's from Georgia. He's one of my oh, favorite yeah, people. You're, you're so biased. I'm so biased. You're, you're like, uh, you're more biased than, uh, what's it, W. Camille Bell. <laughs> All right, coming up next. Oh, we know this guy. He hangs out at the comedy store a lot. Put your hands together for the lucky Eric Oligny. Here he is, everybody. This guy loves smoking pot behind the comedy store. So, uh... I uh, always get in these relationships these days where people are asking for uh, the dick pic. I, I try to send it. I get in the tub and I actually like lay it out and I make it look nice. I look at the picture though and I realize I look like a corpse in a morgue. I then try to put it on Instagram. You know, I try to put it to Hefe because we all know that shit makes everything look more alive. I found something out about this though. On your Android, it'll make you feel better about yourself. When you send that picture through, it'll say, picture too large, compressing. There you go. Good. He's only gracing us with about uh, 35 seconds. Yeah. You want to do another 20 seconds? Uh, yeah, I smoke, a, I smoke a lot of weed, like he said, and I, I get really emotional when I'm watching television now. I cried to Kitchen Nightmares the other night. But the, uh, the thing is, I cried to this one commercial, the Viagra commercial, the guy's driving in the desert, and I realized, oh, my God, he has a broke-down car and a limp dick. <laughs> his car, his car breaks down in the desert? In the commercial? Yeah. This nope. car with the car right. driving. That's pretty funny. It's pretty yeah, funny. That's I all like right, that. yeah. Yeah. Yep. I really like that. Viagra. Uh, yeah. Maybe on the Instagram uh, joke, say that, that whatever you said, the high eight or whatever it's called. Cafe. Cafe. Cafe, yeah. Cafe. Maybe you say like half eight filter. Filter. Half eight. Yeah, yeah, I, I first, like, filter. what are you talking about? Okay, yeah. Because I don't even know, and I use Instagram like so many times. I just go, oh, which one I also pretty? don't believe that women request dick pics right. from you. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I think that's kind uh, yeah. of like where the you gotta that make that starts. Right. You got to exactly say your friend. Exactly where I was about to go. Okay. I okay. mean, you got to say your change, friend. Change it to my friend. Or, <laughs> right. Yeah. You have okay. to make it one specific thing. Like yeah. I've been in these relationships these days, and all these girls well, that, are asking me for dick pics. Actually, yeah. actually, it just uh, seems a little no, bit this over is, the top. This is the truth about the joke. I mean, <laughs> we're all seeing what you look like right now. Like, I don't know if you think it's an audio-only live well, show. But. That's, my, that's been my biggest problem with that joke is finding how to introduce it. Like, yeah. Well, there you go. Definitely not like that. I, well, do I you love take, Dean's note but, on that. But do you take <laughs> dick pics? Make it one instance. Uh, no, I actually I did. That's how I came up with the joke. Some girl did ask me for it. And, okay. Because what also makes it crazy is you say, and all, all they want are all these dick pics, and I do the right thing. I lay in a bathtub. <laughs> <and> I, <laughs> yeah. I, like, yeah. like, that's a punchline. That's not a setup. Yeah, I think that... 
I think the joke is like um, the dick. Pic. I, you don't I know. started meeting. I met a, a girl recently, and she asked me for a dick pic, and it's the first time that's ever happened to right. me. Okay. So I didn't know what to do. So I tried all these different scenarios out. Right. I drew one. <laughs> and then I just took. And then I just took a picture of my friend Tony's dick and sent it to her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, you were out borrowing dicks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which is a borrowing yeah. dicks. Yeah. This is all. You better listen to this podcast yeah, yeah. and take all these notes. <laughs> you this listen. Is, this is a major. He's here. This is a major tagitism going on. That's right good now. right there. I have two fake dick pics on my phone that I send out randomly <laughs> to my friends. Oh, yeah. Are they are they both black? No, no, no. They're very. I tried to find one that looks very almost 100 percent accurate. I even have one that looks like same the same band. curtains that I have in my, my back. Yeah. You I can also just it. say I took I, a picture of my friend's dick and she was like, "Wow, you're really tan," or something, you know, like something. Yeah. Right. I just worry though if I die and somebody finds my phone, they're gonna think <laughs> like, "Oh, Brian right. likes a tes likes dicks." I sell stuff. <laughs> on, I sell stuff on Craigslist and I get like asshole scammers all the time. And I found the ugliest like man in a, <laughs> like a riverbed naked from the '70s. I just googled dick pic. And it, this one came up, so whenever they send me spam, I send it back like, "How about this?" <laughs> and and I oh, and it always ends the spam right away. But recently, a guy was like, "It's on." <laughs> <laughs> and this guy's dick is bad. It's all furry. It looks like a thumb. <laughs> Are you sure this didn't happen in the chat room you were in? No, <laughs> this is Craigslist, which is like a chat room. <laughs> did you ever actually send a dick pic? Like, did any uh, of this really? Did you actually? Yeah, did did you it. actually lay in a bathtub and uh, with yeah, your penis? With, was there water it's in the best it? That's lighting. There's water. <laughs> in, so, so there's water in the bathtub. Uh, yeah, I gotta keep it clean, bro. Mm -hmm. wow. And you're in the bathtub and you're holding the phone. Oh, you get your face in it too, like that? Oh, is that yeah, what you just did? Never wow. put your face oh, in you put there, your dude. Face? Looking guy. I have, the one thing dude. I have going. By you. the way, okay. can you send us this no. picture right now? No. <laughs> no. Let's, I need to let's see review thing. that set. <laughs> Let me explain why you never do that, man. Because as an example, when I'm looking at Backpages.com for escorts, I, they always have all their faces blurred out or they're, they're cut out. All what you do is you take that picture and put it in a Google image search, and then you can find out what their Facebook page is and their real name. Really? So, so, yeah. There's a tip for you guys. Yeah. So, the, oh, okay. so, so in the future, somebody's going to be able to just take your dick pic pick and be able to Google image search it and find out exactly who you are. Yeah. Like your mom. It's true. Uh, do you, you not got a have picture a of the shower? Chair? <laughs> like do you take baths a lot? Yeah. Is that a thing that you do? I, I actually I lay down in the shower, yeah. That's like you lay down in the shower. That's a vagina pick. Oh my god. With the blood going into the no, stream. <laughs> 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 no, I, I, uh, it, it relaxes me. I did it when I was in the army, and that's I kept it kept kept it going. Baths in the army? Yeah, no, I didn't do baths. I just had the shower hitting me. Oh, I got it. And it just relaxes me. Oh. Damn, you must have wow. a nice shower. Okay. I mean, Damn. I only hear about that like in the Sandusky, uh, <laughs> Sandusky <laughs> files, crying in the bottom of the shower. <laughs> Those people aren't laying on their backs. <laughs> so, did you send the pic? Uh, Aww. Actually, yeah, with that girl, yeah, I did. And what did she say? Like sweet dick or what happened? But also, like when you put your face in it, it's like it it changes. It shows how big your head is compared to how big your exactly. you show your cock. other head is. Yeah. Oh, so you so Point you're saying reference. it's a more adequate? Did you take it from like the cock and like there's this giant <laughs> cock and you're just in the background? It's like, like you're <laughs> you're peeking, you're, you're spying on a cock. <laughs> just looking at it like, oh, how far can I get this? Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Do you have the picture? Yeah, I would it's do that. I would take all that front end stuff that we did, make it a one case scenario, and uh, use that compression thing, I guess, at the end too. And yeah, there you go. There much. he goes. Yeah, Great job, Eric. There he goes. How that guy does not get a role as an extra in Breaking Bad, I have no idea. I mean, my God, I've never seen anybody that looks like they do meth more than him. Uh, okay, let's keep it flying, shall we? Here we go. It's the one and only Jonathan Turnblood. Oh shit. Oh snap. Tumbling. 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 Yeah. Tumbling. Oh. Yes, yes. All right. So. Uh, last summer I ran into a roommate crisis. I was about to get evicted and I had to call upon a friend who is gay. And I tell my parents, I'm like, I'm thinking about moving in with Tristan because gay people are always good at paying rent. So I assume. And he was like, I don't know if I trust that, son. And I'm like, why not, dad? He was like, well, what if one day you come out the shower 
you dripping with water and shit. And he just comes up and takes it, son. And I'm like, Dad, I'm pretty sure you shouldn't be worried about me living with gay people. You should be more concerned about me living with a fucking rapist, man. <laughs> and then uh, he was like, no, son. Southern men, like country-ass Southern men, always assume they know the answer to everything. And he was like, your Uncle Tony moved in with his friend, and he caught the gay son. That's how he caught it. And I'm like, Dad, I'm pretty sure Uncle Tony was already gay. He's been asking me to call him Tina since I was five. <laughs> Fuck yeah, there he is. Jonathan Tumbling. Fuck yeah. I always, all the gay people in everybody's jokes are always named Tony. Anyone ever <laughs> notice that? <laughs> I, I can name five comedians that all have a gay Tony. I, I'm, I'm, it gets me to wonder, am I the gay Tony that they're talking about? But also, <laughs> like, the, the award that gay people are trying to win is a Tony. Oh, yeah. That's true. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, good wow. They Tony. like that word. It's a smart circuit. joke. It's nice. <laughs> I mean, I was thinking earlier when I was sucking this guy's dick, there's no way I could be gay, but anyway. Um, I like well, the second you, half. I did like the second half. The first half, it's like, uh, you know, when you say, he, if, when you get out of the shower, I can, he can just take it. What does your dad say? If he comes up and takes it. If he comes up and takes it. The first thing I thought of was um, your rent and not your sexual facilities. You're like, well, if I mean, or that could be a fun misdirect. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just saying, like, if he comes up and takes it. Like, you like, your dad, you mean my rent? You mean my rent? <laughs> takes or it there's turn. something like that to where that it's like just some sort of misdirect so that it's not. And when you get to the rapist part, have more of a pause and really yeah, you you know, focus that. on that, that oh, joke. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Is there, is there like a more specific term for rapist? You know, like an example. Did you really have a gay roommate? Yes. Did, would you notice anything different with uh, having a gay roommate than with having a straight roommate, like in the past? Did he taste different? Uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, nothing, nothing extreme. Like the house is more clean. Yeah. The house is go. clean. Also, Tina and Tony. That seems it, weird to me. It seems like it should be Tanya. Sounds yeah. like a murder mystery restaurant. Yeah. Uh, Tony my, and my Tina. Uncle Tony, like he does act. He, he's Tina. He's Tina, right. that's his name. Oh, uh, oh. Can, oh, because it's like like a it. Tina Turner thing. Yeah. Well, oh. Tony and Tina's wedding is a big thing, too. That's like a famous something. Yeah, but oh, I so think it really it's got is. probably more to do with Tina Turner, yeah, Tony right? Tony and Tina's wedding is like a huge, <laughs> I think, Broadway thing. He does oh. drag, drag queen Tina Turner stuff. Yeah, but that's, like, that's also the thing. Like, If you're going to say he's been asking you to call him Tina since he was a kid, you know, and then you need to paint that picture of Tina Turner so that we can even get a better, a bigger picture. Like, um, he used to call me Ike. I <laughs> called him Tina. Yeah, you know totally. I mean? So that we know <laughs> what Tina you're talking. Because it's like I'm always telling people, like, if you can't paint a picture, the if you can paint a picture, the audience will go with you, and they're with you no matter what. And so, the more specific you are, you never want to say car. You want to say Oldsmobile. You know, you never want to say tree. You want to say oak. You want to tell us the color of the cars. And then it also makes an audience feel smart, too. Like, if they're, they're, like, imagining it. And then they go on the road on that tour with you. And then all of a sudden, they're a step ahead of you. But they're still going to laugh because they feel smart for knowing it. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. You just got tagged it. That's Jerron Horton. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Wait, that's no, not, not John Ron. Horton. I'm sorry. Jo that's Jonathan. Totally racist. Jonathan. Oh, come on. That's not even racist. No. Jerron Horton's so much whiter than him. <laughs> it's just it's a whole different race. race. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, anyway. I, you know what? That we one. haven't been talk talking about Iron Patriot. Name? To uh, yeah, the Iron Patriot. Tom Bloom? What was Tom Blin. Tom Blin. Um, I think it takes a lot of courage to get up on stage like this, and I'm proud of everybody. Yeah. That's, oh yeah. Gotta yeah, love sure. our head of security. This yeah. this seems like a more professional one uh, episode. Like we really seem to be yeah. helping people yeah. out instead we're, of yeah. tearing them apart. Yeah, we're like, pretty dialed in. They've all flirted with the sun. They, they yeah. just gotta go a little farther and they'll be there. <laughs> mm. All the talk with uh, the talk about the Tony and the and the gay and the Jonathan reminds me of uh, this past weekend. I was down at the La Jolla Comedy mm -hmm. Store with Jeff Ross. We had a lot of fun. And um, Jeff Ross I from the to, Burn. Yes. Oh, okay. I got. Is there another one? The Roastmaster General is oh, the I other see. one. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, biggest anyway. dick in the industry, I heard. <laughs> what? What's that? He has the biggest dick in the industry, I heard. <laughs> I, no, I, I was just trying to add a compliment. <laughs> oh, <okay>. um, 
<laughs> but I was talking to uh, the house piano player at the La Jolla Comedy Store who's been there for like 20 years. Lou His name Brockman. is Lou. He's like a real scooby doo boo boo doo 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 like Fucking up the oldies. And he told me a street joke that I love so much <laughs> that uh, I want to share it with you guys. I just heard this for the first time on Saturday. He's like, he's like real like hippity hoppity. Like, What's up, man? Good to see you. Welcome back. Good to have you. So like he goes, uh, all right, so this guy dies and goes to hell. And the devil's like, hey. Why do you look so sad, man? It's going to be great here. You're going to have so much fun. Guy's like, what are you talking about? And he's like, yeah, on Mondays, it's all you can eat, anything you want. <laughs> Everything you can eat, you're going to be fine. You're not going to gain a pound. You wake up the next day, you're fine. Tuesday, it's all you can drink. Drink all you want. You're going to get drunk. You're going to have so much fun with no negative consequences. Wednesday, it's all you can gamble. You can gamble all your money away. You're going to wake up the next day with all your money back. He goes, Thursday, all you can do drugs. Man, you could shoot heroin, you could smoke pot, you won't overdose, everything's gonna be fine. Friday, are you gay? And the guy's like, no. He goes, oh, you're gonna hate Friday. <laughs> 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 I thought it was so funny. I mean, he told, it was just me and him on a sidewalk. He tells me that joke. I ran down the block. Like, it was. I love it. Anyway, if let's you have keep an experience making Tony laugh, it's the most fun thing in the world. Oh yeah, I really get he into really it. He really celebrates. The I was talking about my mom. I was talking with my mom earlier about it. Actually, she she saw a video that I posted on YouTube or mm -hmm. whatever, and she goes. It was this one part that you, it killed me, you know, because it was just like me where you la you look at the camera, you laugh, and you slap your knee, and it's like, yeah, it really, I realized that I really got that from her. She's a really crazy hard laugher. I mean, mm -hmm. she just cackles. You've, she was yeah. at our Death Squad shows, yeah. and I mean, they're in a room of 500 people, you can hear her just dying. I mean, <laughs> everybody and everything. That, she just loves comedy. Like yeah, she, she, she clucks like arms. a chicken. There's nothing better than a good laugh, right? Oh, no, I love right. that. Yeah, laugh. Like when Bill Burr comes in and you just fucking die. Right? You gotta you just like wow. You mean when you follow him? <laughs> no, no, I mean saying you laugh so fucking hard, you know what I mean? Oh. It really is. He's a freak and watching Bill Burr it just makes me sort of think like, Oh my god, what am I trying to do? <laughs> yeah. There's like very few comedians in which they're so good it actually sort of like reverse inspires me. I'm like, Oh, this is yeah. I have twenty years of every thought being comedy before I can Sometimes he just makes it look so easy. I once told him that. I go, man, you make it look like it's so easy. And he goes, there's nothing easy about it. Yeah. I work <laughs> extremely hard all the time. <laughs> yeah. It's nothing natural. He just thinks about it. He wants to be the best. That's amazing. All right. Here's another comedian for you, Matt Spinelli. Yeah. Holy shit. That's an Italian last name. Matt Spinelli, you motherfuckers. You sons of bitches. How dare you? How dare you? Put those in like a ban list where they oh, can't go. Yeah, you know what I mean? Right. And we also should not, like, if you go last week, you should probably can't go three di weeks in a row or something like that. Right. That's <laughs> true. We need to get some organization. Josh, yeah. Josh you're are you on. listening to that? There different you go. notes every time, right? Yeah. It's it's different totally people different giving notes. different notes. Put your hands together for Andrew Evans, everybody. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Can't even fucking. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Some real. Is this Andrew? Shit. Are you Andrew? No, that's the cook. Oh. You <laughs> <laughs> can't see. It's dark. Here we go. Here. Talking about Eskimo pussy. It's Anthony Bublet. Yeah. Uh oh, you and Obama. Oh my God. <laughs> I was walking down the street and uh, I live in East Hollywood and I walked up on this Mexican dude and he was selling fucking uh, ice cream and I was like, hey man, give me some ice cream pussy. And he agreed to shit and I fucking like smashed all over my face. Like, this is so good. This is so fucking good. All I want to do is fucking make this shit like fucking my son is stuck. Fuck dude. Give me some ice cream. Put it on ice cream. That's that small pussy. That's the I don't know that joke has a title. Uh, I don't know if that joke has a punchline. Yeah. <laughs> it's lost in the ice cream, Tony. Uh, what? It's the new GT. It's in the yeah. White GT. White GT. Uh, it's a childhood favorite thing of mine to uh, to equate pussy with ice cream. 
Okay. Well, it makes oh, sense. You and LL Cool J have something in common. <laughs> Six foot men, two men. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I can honestly say that's the worst joke I've heard on that. Uh, yeah. you. You're also to go with the outfit. Yeah, you have mesh shorts. I actually style. like the, the outfit better than the joke. No. Oh. Really? Because, because the, outfit, the outfit can be used in another way. Oh, oh. Anthony, it's not great when the, all the guests are arguing over what's worse, your joke or your clothes. <laughs> I agree with the clothes, too, because I've worn them two days in a row. Uh, no, Anthony, what? it's a really gay name. Two days in a row. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me it. You went up two days in a row. Oh, you're wearing it two yeah, days in a row? Yeah, basically. Um, what do you mean, basically? I'm not taking a shower until Friday. Yeah, uh, are you really a comedian, or are you just fucking around? Um, yeah, you're yeah. fucking around. I, don't I think try to take the words. That's a little disrespectful to people who actually like it. Uh, wait, wait a second. I want to hear what the Iron Patriot has to say. There wasn't any preparation with this act. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Patriot. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Patriot. I love Thanks it. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks, sir. There he goes. Perhaps the worst of all time. Yes. That's number one. Yeah. Oh, wow. The highest, uh, what is it, bucket? Bagot? Oh yeah, that's a that's a that's a uh, that, there's no pH in that one. Yeah. Why couldn't uh, that guy not have shown up what his name was called? <laughs> yeah, exactly. At least he was here, I guess. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Yeah. Take a shower. Yeah. Seriously. What's the, what's the point? Go to Popeye's Chicken. Get those little handy wipes. Get twenty of them. <laughs> Why wasn't he? Is that, is that the number that works? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I could tell it's about the Normally we would have asked why he's not taking a shower until Friday, but we had to get him out of here. Yeah, we had to end when that. the Iron Patriots roasting you, that means it's done. The Iron Patriot <laughs> felt that uh, he had disrespected the stage hard. Yeah. Right, it's true. Right. I felt like, I felt like the respect because you guys are giving a good criticism from professional comedians, and he comes up there with no preparation. Well, I did call him a pussy outside for not signing up, so I guess I take some credit. Uh, okay. <laughs> signed up after I called him a pussy for not signing up. Yeah. I, I will admit that. But you're not in the band pile. You're with the possible returning guests. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, maybe some better preparation, like the Iron Patriot said, and uh, we'll get you back up here. Sometime. Take a fucking shower. Yeah, definitely that. Because your jokes already stink. Put your hands together for Timmy Day, everybody. There he is. Oh, yeah. What's going on, guys? Thanks for having me. All right. Um, anybody got a favorite Disney character? This one? No? Anybody? The guy from Tron? Awesome. Mine's the uh, father dog from uh, 101 Dalmatians. Um, I feel like you have to be able to uh, release a lot of, of jizz to in, order, in order to have 101 babies come out of your girlfriend at one time. I also, this is what I like to call bullshit on this film because I don't think that that could ever happen. I think that... Uh, Half of those babies probably would have been stillborn. Um, they probably would have just thrown them in the garbage. And when Cruella DeVille showed up and was like, I want to take all these puppies, they'd have been like, sure, fucking take this bag full of dead puppies that we have. And everyone would have been sad. I don't think the mom dog would have wanted to keep them. I mean, she would have been like, I don't want 101 people sucking on my titties for the next couple months. Like, that's going to hurt really bad. Um, what else? That's, that's about it. But yeah. A lot of people would say that uh, 101 Dalmatians jokes. Some people would say too soon. <laughs> <laughs> I just I watched it with my di my dickhead niece like a month ago. She she made me watch it. So. Well, I think that that's the funnier part. Right. Because I feel like the I feel like it's ob the obvious joke is saying that like who would want 101? But if you take it the other way, like my niece made me watch this movie and I realized what a miracle it was. And then you're saying it with this sarcastic undertone. You know what I mean? So that it's not so graphic and, and dark. If you take it the other way, then that's a harder joke to write. Right now it seems too easy. It's, you know. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And, but, I would, and I would open it by owning the topic, not saying, does it, anybody out there yeah. have a favorite Disney character? Because yeah. then what? Best case scenario, what? You get heckled. Know. My right niece got it. Like, I don't know if you guys have a favorite Disney character, but my new favorite Disney character is the dad dog. You know? And then it's also like, maybe you can get into stuff about like, adoption and like how like there's so like there's so there's such a huge problem with getting pets spayed or neutered you know what i mean but like 
there's a big crowd, like everybody wants to adopt a dog right. or rescue one, but nobody wants to rescue a hundred of one. Yeah, there's definitely got to be something about like Bob Barker in there. Or yeah, something and like it's that. Like, like Bob I think, Barker. I think. Yeah. Bob Barker didn't have a gray hair on his head until he <laughs> saw 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> He's the neuter guy, everybody. Yeah. yeah. Oh, all right. I think also, yeah. though, like, like, Sons of bitches. Like, <laughs> the sarcastic part can be about how, um, how, what a miracle it is, you know, and then, like, describing, like, you know, how a, a dog having 101 puppies is, like, ridiculous. But also, like, you know, the, the disastrous part is like, how are we going to, like, if you think about this realistically, like Disney setting, I think it should be more about Disney setting us up for ignorant expectations. Yeah. And I think more people would be on your side if it's anti-Disney as opposed to just about like some disgusting dog that had a hundred puppies. I, I was really just going for like, wow, that must have been like a lot of jizz. Yeah, I see. I would focus. I would focus more on that for me. I, I didn't. I would, roll as far. I would focus more on that than stillborn death. No, yeah, no, 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 yeah. I think that's because the odds. I think if you look it up, it's like two out of every six puppies. Right. Yeah. That's like four hundred Dalmatians that are probably dead. Yeah. Out of one hundred and one. Well, uh, I guess. One hundred and one live. Yeah. Like four hundred. But that's yeah. the thing, though. It's not a lot of jizz because all we hear about is how there's like a million sperm in one little thing. So now you're going, and you're saying that like, so really it's like her eggs, it's really the woman that's the miracle. Yeah. I'm just saying that like, you're saying, I'm just saying that like, yeah. I mean, whenever you, whenever every, every guy has a joke about killing a million babies when I swallow or whatever, and girls have that joke too. So I'm just saying if you're going to go the other way with it and say that that's a lot of jizz, then. Yeah, you're saying like Octoboom could have just been a normal sperm. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I love it. I love it with the Patriots. <laughs> the Iron Patriots just came in with a tag. Well, but the Octa Mom is a normal sperm, but she, yeah, she, she, that she had, you know, she I, had. I think if you're doing yeah, 101 I Dalmatians jokes, I think it's important to make sure that it's a big, long bit if you're going to commit to it. Yeah. So yeah. I'd say stretch it out on all fronts. I, I really the big sperm, bit, all of that it's... stuff, all those oh, okay. references. Yeah, because that's not like a one-liner. I think it's smart. I yeah, think it's interesting. Definitely. There might be something in the... I don't think you should scrap it at all. No, I, think at all. Should, I think you should Stretch embrace it. it yeah, because I don't know any jokes about 101 Dalmatians. And right. I think Disney movies are a, a terrible like uh, expectation. Like the, right. They're also the reason... Everybody like, knows the only, type of, the only type of animal that can have 101 babies is a Mexican one. <laughs> Yeah. There we go. There's a great. Yeah. What was your name again? Timmy. 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 Really funny. Yeah. Yeah. Timmy. 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 And our next contestant, Maddie Chumbor, everybody. Oh wow, he's right there. Excuse me. Recently moved out here, guys. I'm single. I've had some weird things happen lately. I uh. Recently, I've been getting turned down more than I introduced myself. <laughs> kind of weird. I, uh, I was playing basketball with my roommate the other day, and he was like, Yo, man, I, I met you my friend Meg. I'm like, Oh, who's Meg? He goes, Those matter. She said no. Like, what bugs me out is, like, he must have showed her my Facebook profile picture, which is my headshot. So she said, like, no to me, best case scenario, <laughs> which kind of, like, bugs me out. He's like, don't worry, dude, stay confident. I'm like, stay confident? I was like, she just turned out a photo of me that's digitally altered to make me look as best as I can. My fucking next headshot's gonna be one for my own gun. Like, I don't look her anymore. The person was at all. That's true, though. It's fine. Uh, fuck. That's about it. I, I don't wanna... Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah! yeah. Great confidence and poise on stage. Thank you very much. Yeah. How long have you been doing it? Like two and a half years. What do you think of the Iron Patriot? Great guy right here. Yeah. He's Where'd hard. you move from? Connecticut. Did you do stand up there? No, I, I just started out here. Okay. So. It seems like you've been doing it for it. How long again? Two, two and a half, half years. Oh. Yeah. It's clear that you have some experience with it, but I think that. Um, go ahead. <laughs> Were you going to say something? The only part I lose is the headshot, headshot yeah. thing at the end. I think the rest is actually a pretty smart premise that it's I don't really think I've really smart, heard It's really smart, but I don't before. think that you should even bring up headshot because 
immediately if people aren't from I really, LA. It's very industry. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? And I don't think you need it because I think whenever people take a Facebook photo, it's always best case scenario yeah, yeah. no matter what. Okay, cool. You know, and like, so you can make it about a, uh, a picture that you took of yourself, you know. Right, that maybe in the bathtub with your penis in the yeah. background. With my yeah. cock. Yeah. <laughs> or it's like a glamour <laughs> shot or it's something that, you know, someone took of you. It can be any other scenario that okay. every everybody in the, you know, flyover states would understand too okay yeah i was thinking i was like not everybody understands like yeah when i told my mom Reno. like headshot she's like headshot okay. yeah nice. but i also think you have to just get to it faster like because you you talk about how you're getting to, like that first line that you say where you're getting turned down more than your what is it say? more than i introduced myself yeah so get right into that example like okay. the other day okay here's an example <laughs> okay you like yeah. rock and roll and you can also equip i'm sorry uh no i'm more of like a rap kind of Bummer. Yeah. I do listen to rock. I'm not. I don't hate. Uh, but yeah. if I'm listening to music, I'm usually it's more of a rap inspired type thing. Mm -hmm. so, not to offend you. So. What, do you <laughs> what do you think about What do you think about Kanye's new album? I listened to the one that he did on SNL, and actually, I thought that was pretty badass. But I I heard a few like the first track on some it got ripped, and I didn't. I wasn't too uh, proud of it. There's a There's a point in one of his songs where he's like. Bitch, where's my croissant? Give me my croissant. Yeah, like, I feel like he's like, running out of shit to yeah, say. Yeah, he's talking about croissants. He's never yeah. had anything to <laughs> say. Strategic. I Why does anybody no, but think he's running to, out? He went to Paris to write it, so I guess he was inspired by the croissant. You know oh, what I'm saying? Oh, oh, well, so look at he that. is taking his surroundings into play. Step up from bald porno star <laughs> stripper girl. Exactly, <laughs> sir. From the Paris. last album. I wish you would have stayed yeah. there. Would you? Uh, do you wear that vest a lot? Uh, I tr not not a lot. I don't want to overdo it, but uh, right. I'm a big vest fan. I like that. I think they're new. You don't like it? Well, you know, I'm a big believer that you save the vest for last. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> oh, oh, necessary. Do you really? Uh, See, your jokes were better guys. than that. What? Oh, you know, sure. settle down. And you oh, settle down. Oh, oh. <laughs> kick you off this podcast. <laughs> I do appreciate you guys saying the kind of things. It's funny, uh, like an hour before this, as I was running in and out, I got fired over the phone. So, oh. you guys making my night. Appreciate all that. Uh, wow. Uh, wow. You know, There's your next from? joke. I was an architect. Oh, I was going to say why. sex phone wow. operator? Fucked up. Well, you're still an architect. You just don't still work am. For I just don't. <laughs> nah, I'm just on vacation for like a few. Where did you, was it a big architect? That could be a godsend, actually. Maybe you just start hitting comedy yeah. hard. It's true. Yeah, hopefully. Because look what you get now unemployment. And That's you can true. do jokes every fucking day. That's true. And, uh, yeah, you can go from building. Lot of you can go from building houses to being homeless. In <laughs> yeah. Time at all. Yeah, yeah. Snap like that. Yeah, there's got to be a bunch of jokes about getting fired from yeah. being. I didn't even know you could get fired from yeah. being an architect. Yeah, well, I think that I what they do. It. What they do? Just call you and tell you that it was the boss's wife, and she's like, "Um, we're just getting rid of the junior positions," and then she's like, "But we're gonna send you emails so you can still come to the the functions at the office." I go, "Yeah, yeah that'll be fucking great." Like, yeah. Hey guys, remember yeah. me? I'm the kid that. Clean shit, and then you guys got fired. So, oh my god, wow. but you can more, still more come anyone? Anyone? <laughs> Susan's <laughs> birthday party. <laughs> Who the fuck says that? Like, hey, you're fired, but you can still come to the Christmas what a party, cunt, <laughs> right? Like, or, or just like any function they have. Yeah. It's like, you know, oh, we're not gonna have a present. It's like for you a chick Christmas saying, party. I dumped you, but you can watch me fuck other dudes. <laughs> you do go, <laughs> you do time. go, but you come. <laughs> Dress as a homeless person. Or just you go to the Christmas up. party, like yeah. fucking just like dirt all over your face, Crying. pee, Crying. pee stain. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And you bring, you rent a child from somebody for, you know, like. You did this to me. Yeah, child all over. Just me. have a syringe hanging from your arm. Or you go the opposite way and you come dressed in a tux and a limo with oh, some yeah. sort of hot, I got a hot chick Ferrari. on your hand. Like, we don't, we don't have time to stay. We have to go to a premiere. Right. Yeah. <laughs> funny. I, I, I was able to fit in time to make it to this party <laughs> that you yeah. <laughs> invited me to if I have nothing else going on uh, but now I have to go because I'm busy you know what I would do you is stay for two hours. constantly tweet her number you know yeah, right. because that is the rudest thing you could say you're fired but you can still party with us yeah. with what I money didn't. Keep tweeting her phone number until you have no followers left. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Or yeah. There he goes, Maddie Chumbor. Yeah, exactly. There he goes. <laughs> Fuck yeah. It's all happening, people. Oh, wow. What a special treat. Uh, Gabe Killian, everybody. Here he is, the great Gabe Killian. Wow. Holy moly. Uh, I knew... <clears throat> I knew a girl who died, and uh, every once in a while, I remember having sex with her, 
and I get a little creeped out. <laughs> but I guess it's okay, though. I mean, she was only dead a couple hours at the time. I used to be a racist. Now I'm just a guy black people used to beat up. <laughs> went, uh, went down on a Japanese chick, got mercury poisoning. I caught one of my best buddies fucking a guy. I couldn't believe it. Shit, I almost fell off the ladder jacking off. Just got back from a short film festival. I was disappointed to find out that short film is not the politically correct term for midget porn. <laughs> I'm pretty good at <laughs> uh, I snatched an old lady's purse. She only had $12 in it, but the spinning back fist I knocked her out with, totally fucking worth it. I'm pretty good at Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Unless the guy I'm fighting knows Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Gabe Kelly. Yeah. Wow. He, he brought fire. He's, he's a one-liner yeah. surgeon over yeah, here. Yeah, he brought right? fire. That's amazing. I think you got to work on your volume, though, a little bit. Definitely. Like, yeah. You know? I, I had you almost turned up all the way to yeah. the max. I yeah. mean, your jokes are good, so don't be nervous. Heck I mean, yeah. of course, it's fucking weird, but you get up there, and if you hit those with mad confidence and volume, it's going to go off really good. Uh, yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. right now it sounds like you're doing dark poetry in a bookshop. Yeah. Yeah. But it's also like Steve, like, uh, what's his name? Stephen Wright. Right. But... But that's different, though. You know what I mean? It's like you don't ever want to do that because that's immediately what people are going to say. Right. If you do want... Right guy? What was the guy that did that kind of stuff? Yeah, that's what we're talking Stephen about. Stephen Wright. No, 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 no. I also... Yeah, Mitch Hepburn. No. Yeah. Yeah. Brenton Biddlecombe. Yeah. <laughs> Gabe Kellyan. How many... Uh, quick question for you. you you're a one-liner comic. How long did it take you to write those? What were those? Like six there? Six jokes? Uh... How long did each of them take? Or all yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to think because, like, to get a half hour together is a long time, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't spend much time on it. Well, well, some of them, it takes months. Some of them, just uh, a few seconds. Yeah. Right. What was the one about the purse? Uh, that's one I of snatched my new, new an old ones. lady's yeah. purse. Wait, uh, how did that go? I snatched an old lady's purse. She only had $12 in it, but the spinning back fist I knocked her out with, that was totally worth it. <laughs> but the spinning back fist, yeah, it's, it's, it's a move? Spinning back fist. Back fist. Yeah. I thought you said spinning back fish. No, spin so I was like imagining you with a fit, hitting her with a fish. You know what would be good is if you have a lot of these things to actually to put them all together and make them all s bits. You know what I mean? Like if you have like seven of these, these can be like seven tags if you can find a way to put those seven things together. But I also don't you know? think that you should do, well, yeah, that's weird. But I, I think that that joke is uh, flawed in that you're hitting an old lady like right. you already took her purse yeah so the joke should be whatever you find in there was totally worth it you know like something that you that I, I got off on hitting her not the money that, that was a joke. yeah he got to do a spinning i get it it's you know but, it's yeah. pretty sweet to do a spinning back yeah <laughs> <laughs> and, and i you know what i think I, I, with that said i think i would tag it with those exact words right. yeah. yeah basically exactly. saying because because spinning back fist are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. You know, and then maybe even go into a more like. I've like, been practicing for years. Because then that, that really paints the picture of what you're, you're spelling out, which is that you always wanted to land a spinning back fist on somebody, and an elderly old lady is the only person you could land it on. Yeah. Right. So I think that, that that's the joke, though. Yeah. To start with the oh, old yeah. lady is like to say, like, I finally nailed a spinning back fist. It's a move I've been perfecting for years. Finally. I totally knocked the old lady out, but the $12 in her purse was worth it, or whatever. Yeah. What I, do you think, I, I, Iron Patriot? Iron Patriot is not into beating old ladies. We're learning a valuable lesson tonight that comedy is very difficult. And <laughs> professionals make it look easy, but it's not easy. No. That's it's right. a really good point, Patriot. That's right. <laughs> Proof. I think Proof you're learning that tonight, Proof. by the way. Proof by the Patriot, right? Have you ever had any STDs, Iron Patriot? Uh, not any I can name right now. It'd be too embarrassing. Oh. Uh, oh, shit. Well, I think, uh... Crabs? Well... Yes. Crabs. 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 Stone crab. <laughs> Either he had crabs or he thinks that you can order crabs here at the comedy. Hard <laughs> shell crabs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we don't have seafood. How long have you been doing comedy? Two years. 
two years. Two years. Right? I've been writing for over a decade. I just didn't have the boss to go on stage till a couple years ago. And do you go on every night? Uh, no, man. I just do open mics, mostly shitty ones in front of two comics. Pr pretty that's much okay. been in for the past few months. But I mean, you can get on every night because that's going to improve your I confidence try. on stage, right? Yeah, I try. I can't find that many good mics, though. Right. Yeah. Well, your jokes are good, man. There's Thanks. some good stuff in there. Appreciate it. Yeah, I think you just have to learn, like, the uh, misdirect a little bit more. But that's good. Yep. I like misdirect. I mean, that's just kind of my st my what I like. Cool. But yeah. There he goes, Gabe. Yeah, Cohen. obviously your Thank jokes. You, are, what I'm saying is your jokes are smart. Don't undersell yourself. Yeah, it's really good. It's really hard to uh, have one-liners that are somewhat original. But those are good for like late night, even if like you, you can't do a half hour. Doing late night, they want to joke every 15 to 30 seconds when you do late night. So those right. are perfect for that kind of stuff. Champions. So get your best That's 47 <laughs> jokes together and you'll <laughs> be able to do the tonight show. I saw you try to do math really quick yeah. in your head. Yeah. It was <laughs> glorious. Kyle Henson. Yeah. There he is. Hi guys, thank you. Uh, I want to find out how Mitt Romney found out that he lost the election. Like, someone had to have told him. Wouldn't it be awesome if Maury told him? Like, come back from commercial break, Maury pulls out the manila folder, looks over at Mitt, in the case of the 2012 election. Mr. Romney, you are not the president. Mitt freaks out, runs behind stage, he's like, Aah! <laughs> Maury's got the camera crew. He's like, come on, come on, come on. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Yeah. Maury's trying to hold back Brock. Brock's like, this ain't your presidency. What you know about me? Cause say something. This ain't your presidency. Back up. Oh, uh, uh, pardon me. Pardon me. Oh, that's right. You can't pardon me because you ain't president. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Pearl Rock. Oh, to the bomber. You're like to me because I killed Osama. Thank you, Alison Collins. Ah. Ah, oh, boy. I'm, I'm going to have to say no to that. Yeah, yeah that's a bag in for sure. Really? It's, yeah, oh, it's yeah. too old. It's yeah, the new. Well, obviously, joke. as soon as he um, says, I, I thought Maury was going to, mm -hmm. I immediately start yeah. thinking, all right, you are not the president. I don't I think, mean, and this I don't is think still it has 20 to be, seconds I don't think away. it has to be as specific as it is. More it could be somebody else just repeating. I like the yeah. joke, actually. Oh. I think it's clever and that, like, but I think it needs to be set up differently. As in, like, I, you know, I don't like politics. It's really boring. I would, I would prefer to watch it if, like, Maury told us totally. who was president instead of Wolf Blitzer. And then, like, in the case of Mitt Romney, is like, you know, you are not the president, but you are the father to 18 kids. Right. You know, that would you be good. You have a spinoff, yeah. yeah. But you do have herpes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah then fucking Mitt no, Romney's like, it just like it, fuck. And maybe it's not Maury. Maybe it's whoever is, like, it's somebody else. Yeah. But, you but know. the right. problem is the election is well over. Yeah. You know. You but he can well use right. that for the next That's one. The only you might as well oh, yeah. be writing 101 Dalmatians. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but I think it can be for the next election. You know, like I understand. whoever. I understand. It's that like it's I got a Christmas joke. I yeah. do it two weeks before. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's like I, think it's a, I think it's a right. good one. It can it can sound more topical yeah. than it is around election time. Yeah. Cool. And I think it can be used then, but I don't think right. it's a complete bagger. Right. Because I think your acting it out is really funny, and Barack's dance made and, me laugh out loud. And rhyming Obama and Osama, you don't want to do that because uh, Pauly Shore already did that. It, <laughs> yeah. He has a rap song out called Obama Killed Osama. And he kind of so owns he, this he place. Owns, <laughs> he owns this place, and he definitely owns uh, that song. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't even need that, you know. Yeah. I don't think you need it. I think it's no. I think it's an interesting perspective on because I think it's a shared perspective in that politics does get really boring. Well, it's, you can use it on all kinds of elections, like the yeah. mayor election that just happened. That's even better because no one even fucking knew that was happening. <laughs> yeah. And so you didn't know till you tuned into more and yeah. you're like, oh, this is sweet. <laughs> right, right, right. They actually fucking tell you who wins on this, <laughs> <laughs> which made the mayor election. You wanted to watch it next year. Right. Well, Obama wants change. Brother already axing for money. <laughs> <laughs> What's that from? That's one of the jokes I did like three, four That's years ago, five oh, years wow. ago. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, you and a bunch of people. Wow. Heck yeah. So, yeah. It wasn't brother either. I just. Oh. <laughs> yeah, talking about Maury, Maury in the elections, it's like it just seems too late to be trying to make jokes like that too much better. I'd look ahead to the future, maybe have more 
something else. I'd iron it out, you know what I mean? But right. I think it's a back pocket joke. And I'm joke. just talking yeah. about your shirt. Sure, I, think it's yeah. a great back, <laughs> I think it's a great back pocket <laughs> joke. Yeah. Hey, to get ironed out of your shirt, if you're running out, take it like a small towel, make it really wet, and just wipe your body straight with it until your whole shirt's wet. <laughs> and true. then when you get out of your car from wherever you're driving, it'll be ironed. It's true. Is that right? Yeah. Any, yep. Anything is better than that. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Well, thank you. But I also think that this is like a good lesson in that, like, not every joke you have to throw away. Like, some jokes you don't use all the time, right. but then, like, somebody in the audience might say something, and you want to have a lot Triggers. of back, right. back pocket trigger right. jokes that just come out whenever somebody brings them up. Right. So that's one of those, I think. That's right. Like, my that's Christmas joke, if there's a guy that looks like Santa in the crowd, right. I'll whip it out. <laughs> right. Or if something you happens. Whip, wait, a joke out? Yeah, oh, okay. I have to fucking <laughs> dig out to Santa like, hey, out. Santa. Hey, I don't know. Maybe you're taking pictures. And uh, yeah. There right, goes Kyle you. Henson. Good job, Good on, man. Just flying through them tonight. Yeah, it's good. Zach James is uh, Zach James is next. Yeah. You guys are assholes. Out. You got to be kidding me. Can you believe the disrespect, Iron Patriot? Nah. Yeah. All right. Let's let's back this up before we go any further. The guy that did pretty well is texting during the show. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh. He saved it. All right, just checking. We don't want to clown the other guys. Right? Heck, yeah. That was a guitar riff for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Damien Spencer. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. It's crazy because we've been so nice on we've been too nice on this one, yeah. and this is the first time ever where people aren't showing up. Yeah. We're just writing great shit up here, <laughs> assholes. Let's bring up Amy. If if somebody doesn't make the next one, we'll bring up Amy. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Uh, put your hands together for. Uh, uh, actually, let's just bring up Amy now. I'll yeah, put Amy. this back in. No point going back. We can't go backwards again. We're going forward. Amy Hawthorne, big time friend of the comedy store. Yep. Hey guys. So I just turned 34. Um, thank you. Which you could probably tell from this outfit I purchased at Kohl's, <laughs> the store for your mom and your high school English teacher. Um, I figured out I was 34 the other day because I woke up and my legs were sore from sleeping. I had done nothing besides that the day before. Um, also, my brain is changing and. Uh, they don't warn you about this. They say, you know, women reach their sexual peak at 35 and guys at 18, but they neglect to tell you that through your 30s, your brain just becomes a teenage boy's. Like, in the 30 seconds I've been up here, I've had at least three thoughts about sex. <laughs> I'm a professional, didn't share them with you guys yet, but I just think, thank God women don't get uh, visible erections. Because if they did, people would definitely know I was not paying attention in the sales meeting. Or else they'd think I had some kind of a weird fetish for Excel spreadsheets, and that's also not good. But if they did, like, can, there would have been lady boner corsets, and those would have been terrible. But what would be worse is now, because we have cleavage, we've got to show your thong, you've got side boob. Like, if we got visible erections, that whole Britney Spears thing would have been, like, high fashion. And we'd all be expected, oh, that's too old, isn't it? <laughs> Nobody's <laughs> showing their pussy anymore out of the limos. But uh, anyway, lady boner corsets, guys. There yeah. you go. <laughs> It's a yep. great premise. Yep. Uh, Absolutely. You know the, the boobs. I'd lose the boobs. I'd, I'd immediately lose the uh, the waking up with your legs being sore because you're getting older. You know what I mean? Like I've, I've. Uh, I mean, it's oh, it always makes me laugh. But I've heard a couple different versions from other comedians that are like longer, and they drew them out. They're like full five minute bits about how their neck hurt from doing nothing. You know what I mean? I don't think. I think it just needs to be more specific. Like right, my instant yeah. thing was like instead of sleeping, it needs to be something specific that's kind of loserish. You know, like, like maybe you're my dreaming legs about going to Coles. Maybe you're walking around <laughs> looking for a sale. For my legs one. are sore, you know, right. from searching for a parking space at Coles. Or, or maybe, uh, maybe your legs are sore because you played a softball game, and you know you're getting old because you didn't even get in the game. Like you, you were on the bench. <laughs> Uh, my legs were sore from. I, I did it. I was. Uh, well, I, what about my legs are sore from like softball. kicking the recliner thing in? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. No. No. It's just like one. 
that's <laughs> one of those exercises. That's really funny. Yeah, absolutely. I like that. I do three of those a week, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like... Yeah. I might be up to jazzercise level. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I think it's great. Like self-deprecating is like so important. And um, and also, I was gonna say, like when you say, um, I'm glad that women are like we reach our sexual peak. I've thought about sex three times since I've been up here, and that's mostly just because of this guy. Or like you can point, right. you can involve the audience, right? Yeah, you the iron, the iron patriot. You could have just looked at him and said he reminded you of a sweet dildo. Heck yeah. <laughs> Or you can say, like, if, if you don't want to make it about someone in the audience, you're like, that's just because I have a piece of pizza waiting for me in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Like, whatever it is, you know, off stage. That, that and the lady boner to. thing, I think that's a fantastic premise. Um, yeah. And, you know, you, you could get into maybe how the clothes aren't designed for it, like wearing a dress. You know, you can't really hide a boner in a dress. It would just stick out. I also think it gets a little confusing because oh, yeah, I, guess so. I think the picture that you're painting is confusing. Like for me, I'm like, wait, you have a boner and you're a lady. Right. And this is confusing. Like I think I need to know like what, like if like there if there's something if you turned like a col a different color when you were if women were aroused well, and also, changed color. Lady boners could be other things like jewelry. You know what I mean? You know what, what I'm saying? Like a lady boner. Actually, there are lady bonuses. It's something different, like a handbag. I, uh, that's a lady well, bonus. I only think that's of lady what boners, makes them like, aroused, so much but that's gross. not what shows. Yeah. Squirting? Yeah, but no. <laughs> what I'm saying is maybe it pops out, like, you know, they break out their lady boner. Your t like a rib just pops out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like a steel cage for you to put all your jewelry in. The question is, is what would the boner look like? Right, that's like? what I'm saying. Oh, like, if she changed like color. Like a handbag? You know? Well, I mean, that's, so that's kind of the idea of where I'm going. Is cause it needs to be right physical. Now, yeah, there is nothing visible, but what if it was? Right. right. Maybe I'm just not getting into No, that. but you know, I, that's why I was saying I don't think it should be the obvious of, like, your nipples getting hard or, like, whatever. Yeah. No, I think it should be, like, some, like what if a lady boner was, like, changing? Right. You turn, your what face if, turns purple. Right. You know? yeah. <laughs> or, like, Ob right. Obvious bummer shit. Like, yeah. just right. fucking yeah. eyeball falls out. Yeah. Just, like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> just grossed up where the dude doesn't want to fuck you. Yeah. Now, and you've got an obvious lady boner with your eyeball out. Yeah. The dude's like, bummer. I want to see your boobs. Huh? I want to see your boobies. It's probably a good joke, and like you know, that you, is. You, you know, the only thing when a, when a woman's turned on, the only thing that gets hard is, oh. yeah, you know, like a it's it, the only thing that goes up is her blood pressure, or the only thing that goes up. The only thing that gets hard is like whatever a woman thing would be. That's why I'm I'm trying to like alley oop it to you. I'm like I got this set up, Sarah. Yeah. Spike yeah. it. Yeah, like it's, the woman like I'm saying instead of it being hard, it would be like a challenge. I'm saying flip the word hard. Right, right. So that all of a sudden, the only yeah. thing that gets hard on a woman it's is life. Math. Life hard. No. Menstrual yeah. pain. Just like <laughs> age is the only thing that's hard on a woman. <laughs> <laughs> right. The sun. I don't know. The sun. Uh, you know. Anal. Dark eyes. <laughs> The only thing that gets hard on Red a band. woman. Anal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good, Red go. Van. He's Whenever he's a woman when all gets aroused, say the word she anal. feels like a penis is going into her butt. Oh, right. God. We would never have sex yeah. if that was the case. Is, wow. The species would have died out. You need a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. I need my face on those boobs. Yeah. Hey, we agree. Yeah. Patriot, will you push Red Band's face into those boobs real quick? Do it, Patriot. Patriot. No, you're not going to let him do that. Yeah, of course. No. Oh, oh, come on. Wow. Rub your boners together. Wow. Do you feel a boner on our Red Band? I can feel the aerials on the each side yeah. of them. Yeah. Fuck I love yeah. those boobs. Well, that's definitely a tag it. There you go. Amy yeah. Hawthorne. Big time tag it. Everybody that was, uh, everybody that's been on uh, the show tonight, by the way, you should, uh, you know, tweet positively and uh, hashtag. Uh, well, it's Kill Tony now, right? Kill Tony. I was gonna say Hinchcliffe. That might turn into like somebody wanting like an open micer that wants to kill you, though. No. I can handle it. Yeah, well, that's not just open micers. That's paid regulars too. As long as it doesn't <laughs> look like a suicide, my mom will be happy. <laughs> Put your hands together for Taylor Dean. Yeah. <laughs> Tim Tebow of uh, the open mic. Hi. All right. Tim Tebow. Patriots. Patriots. He plays for the Patriots. I am Patriot. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Tim Tebow's in the news lately. He was. He was. He's playing for the Patriots. Yeah. Anywho. Uh, sorry to cut you off. 
I have a minute. Uh, my, I did the, my Barack Obama impression, I know, last, uh, was it two weeks ago, Tony? And yeah. you said I needed to write a joke. So I, I went ahead and wrote a joke, and the, the topic is uh, carbon dating. And I'm not, I'm not funny, but uh, here, here it is. Uh, I, well, Tony's kind of, here's the joke. Uh, you're so old that on your birthday cake, they use carbon dating instead of candles. Right? Because it's, it's used for fossils. No, Josh? Josh doesn't like it. No. Yeah, that's, that's, that was the audible sigh. Uh, okay. Well, that's that. Wow, I've heard of a I've heard of a one-liner before, but they normally don't do just one one-liner. Uh, <laughs> one minute one-liner. Wow, <laughs> seems like uh, you have uh, perhaps some confidence issues, Taylor. That maybe we need to talk about. Hold on, let's. Do you really want to do comedy, or, comedy? Or is that huh? you don't really want to do comedy? Well, I was trying to make the joke funny in the sense that I was trying to make the joke funny, if you know what I mean. It was oh, I, to, I was trying to be ironic in that the joke was so bad it might be funny, but it just turned out really bad. <laughs> Wait, you know what? These can't all be winners. No, uh, they, they no, can't. Yeah, we know. So oh. you came but, with but, one <laughs> joke. <laughs> Some of them can be, but we can create winners from them. Hold on now. So you came out with one joke, one and joke. you tried to stretch it out for a full minute. I noticed you did crowd work on the Iron Patriot in the beginning. Yeah. 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 Addressing me? Oh, he definitely was. He put the microphone. I'm in sorry. Here. Can you can you see in there? Yes, I can. Oh, okay. Hey, Taylor, let's keep this on you, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know if you were addressing me. It kind of sh shocked me when you were you talking to me or? I was. I was. I was looking at you. Oh, that's cool. I, that's cool if you addressed me. I wasn't sure though. I felt like. Oh, we're talking to Taylor now though. No. Okay. I love uh, the Iron Man Robert De Niro combo. Him saying, "You talking to me?" <laughs> I, I actually have a Robert De Niro impression. Okay. okay do it. So you just uh, do it. That. We do let's it. get oh, this see, first, sir. You looking at me? That's what everybody does when they do it. It'd that. be like oh. a surfer, Robert De Niro. Oh. Like, you see that wave? Oh, yeah. That's my wave. It's getting worse. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, man. That's great. <laughs> you my favorite thing was Sarah straight up <laughs> went to him and went, so you really don't want to do comedy, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. But I just want, like, I'm not going to give notes to somebody that's just fucking right. around. What no, I know. Yeah. I mean, what one one-liner. Really on? I mean, that's, uh, I mean, Iron Patriot, what did you I'll think about that? He put you on the spot. What do you think? I don't know. Um, the delivery wasn't very good. and Most of the people tonight have had good delivery, and the problem's been with the writing, but. He seems to learn something from the delivery tonight. Because we've seen some pretty good delivery with the comedians tonight. Right. Yeah. It's just like, we, would you guys talk about a little, how'd you get over that hump with the writing? Did you start writing more yeah. each day to get over that hump, or did you buy your jokes, or what did you do? Smoking a lot more weed and drinking yeah. more. You, you, have you, to, you have to write every day. Yeah, yeah, you have to have a lot of fun with your life to be able to do it. Like, you have yeah. to have pent-up guilt. You know what I mean? Like we also have to live life and right, just observe. Right, that's what I'm saying. And Vacationing, drinking, massage smoking, parlors, strip massage parlors, parlors everything. Girls. The mall. Riding your but motorcycle fast down the highway. Fuck yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. things that make you feel good. You need to absorb a lot of those so that you wake up like guilty. Like, oh my god, I need to create some shit or else I'm not doing anything. See, I feel like I am creating when I'm paying attention. Right. So I try not to listen to music. Like uh, if I go on an extra, if I walk, go on a walk or a run, I just try to always be aware. I always say that I'm not a comedian. I'm just, I just get paid to notice things that most people don't notice. And, and I also want to say to you that like, if you're going to do an impression, don't ever do an impression of someone that someone else has done an impression of. Right. Because you'll always be compared to the person who did that, that do impression better. you do Christopher better. Walken? Yeah. Yeah, I would be or more Kermit impressed if you couldn't do Christopher Walken because everybody does. Well, you she, know just, I mean? she just said, don't do the, the Christopher Walken's. <laughs> Red the Band has a Kermit right? the Frog. I do. Yeah. Ah! I'm Kermit the Frog. It's oh, so wow. beat to death. Hold on. The, the, the ultimate set for impression would be like, this is Kermit the Frog. Oh. Robert De Niro, Christopher Walken, <laughs> Rocky Balboa, and De Niro. Barack Obama at a party, and then you do them. Yeah, I was oh. I was trying to make God. the joke ironically funny in the sense that I was trying so hard to be funny, and it wasn't funny. That it yeah, we really know. Ta that's Taylor Dean, everybody. There yeah. he goes. I mean, <laughs> really unbelievable.
He did nothing for a minute straight, and the Patriot goes, hey, how do you write a joke? <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't even ask. The Patriot asked. <laughs> All right, uh, we have actually uh, run out of time. Um, we, what we're going to do now is we're going to get uh, a, a regular segment on the show uh, since the first one, since she was the only female here. Put your hands together for uh, at Sarah Dresses, everybody. Here she is. She basically started stand-up on this stage of, on the, our very first show because uh, we noticed that there were no women. She was here. Ever since then, we've said, hey, uh, you know, whatever you write in a week, come back. We'll keep it going. So we're, it's like yeah. you've heard of Build-A-Bear. We're sort of like building a female comic here. And uh, this is our third installment. Sarah, go ahead. Everything except for pronouncing my actual last name. Well, uh, if you want to, okay. All right, okay all right. Sarah Mookie. Sarah Mustajabi, everybody. Uh, so I went to E3 last week. Do you guys know what E3 is? Electronic em Penis Emporium 2013. It's, uh, it's a lot of dudes. It's dudes on dudes on dudes. Tons of dudes. Um, going to E3 as a girl is like crossing the Texas state line and being anything but a white dude. Uh, it's very difficult, and people just, uh, I fuck what you're doing here, boy. Like, that is your entire wandering around. Um, there's this big thing that everyone thinks that girls that are in gaming are, like, faking it, right? We're faking it, because, you know, I've always wanted to fuck a guy that smells like popcorn in my mom's basement. <laughs> so, <laughs> fucking every day of my life. There are three different kinds of guys that go to a gaming convention, play video games in general. There is the, uh, any a, a vagina that's not being streamed to me over the internet is terrifying guy. Uh, they're just fucking mortified of anything with breasts. Uh, or is, there's the, uh, I haven't quite met you yet, but I'm already going in for a hug guy. Like, hi, how old? Okay, that's your body on, all right, okay. Uh, and then there's like the late blooming bro, which is like, I'm assuming that in high school they were like loser fucks, but at 30 years old, goddammit, they are so good at Madden. They're fucking FIFA all-stars, you know? So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. That's a whole new minute. Yeah. Oh, my God. I liked it. I said. I think we're creating a fucking monster. I know. That was pretty good. That's a I say good slow present. down a little bit. It's totally your perspective. Absolutely. I'd say slow down. I mean, you really haven't been doing much stand-up comedy at all. Three weeks. These. Yeah. What's the first wow. part when you say E3? You guys know what E3 is? It's blah 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 It's that E3. It's like the video game Penis Emporium. Okay. Uh, I would just say uh, one of I those. I was saying like one Sausage those, Fest, but I feel like that's I think like you so can say out. one of those E's doesn't stand for estrogen. Okay, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Because there were no, I was like the only female game Right. There. That's I don't know awesome. if you guys have heard of this, but you also have to spell it out what, for what it is. I went to this video game convention. You may have heard of it. It's called E3. Let I don't me know, tell I don't you know what, what it stands yeah. for, but I'm, I know one of those E's doesn't stand for estrogen. Yeah. And then then you go write down everything. But you also, it's always, it's important to remember how important a setup is. And if people don't know what E3 is, then, right. yeah. then they're trying to catch up the whole time. Like, oh, she said gaming, but I don't know. Oh, okay. You know, and I like that you were describing the kinds of guys that were there, but I think those need to be a little bit more specific. Yeah, and, and slow that down, too. Yeah. She was mowing yeah. through that. Yeah. 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 I'm a little nervous. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've literally been of doing course, like, I did the same thing when I first But it. also, you're going to want to expect some laughs and take a second. Right. You know what I mean? Like, da-da-da-da. Right. But also, da? But also when you said popcorn in my mom's basement. Yeah. I mean, I feel like my mom's basement kind of gets beat to death, so I would think of another specific snack that's kind of nerdy. Yeah, I would really feel like popcorn, feet, and penis. Well, also, like, instead of popcorn, you know what I mean? It's like, kettle corn is funnier than popcorn. Yes. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. But, yeah. but so I'm saying, is like, or if there's a different snack that you can, like, you smell like Funyuns and, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. oh, keep penis animal out cookies. of it. You don't have to do a rule to. of three joke and say penis. I yeah. would never, I would, I would try to stay away from that type of mentality when you can. Like, it got a laugh at popcorn in mom's basement. It'd be funnier at kettle corn in mom's basement. I definitely wouldn't Or it'd be penis. kettle corn and uh, he smelled like kettle corn and hand-me-down clothes or something. You know, right. like something that's like. Yeah. Kettle corn and no job. That's kettle, what it yeah. smell like. kettle corn in a Burger King bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah, anything specific. Like you can keep testing different ones out and see which one feels better. But the cool thing was you wrote and came back the next week, yeah. which is yeah. fucking genius because yeah. you didn't just try to do this. I wasn't here last week, but you didn't just try to come in and do the stuff from last week no. again. No, I it's mean, different every week. And that's the part of when you're a comedian, you have to keep 
exploring it. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't, you're never going to figure out what what's where you're going to go. You but know? That, I think it's good too because it's so personal. Like right. it's a real story. Exactly. And like until you can start talking about yourself and who you are, and like if you really are a gamer, you should really dive into that. Totally. Because All that is a great niche. Right. For a, a woman and to not talk. And about it's that. totally a great time for that. Nerds have taken over the world, and they and that and you're you're like a fetish at this point. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're Sarah right. dresses on Twitter, guys. Hey, Give it up to Sarah. Yeah. Hopefully she'll be back next week. Well, I want to say something before we split. Thanks yeah. for having me on, guys. Of course. Yeah, I was going to say thank you to Dean Del Rey. Thank That's you so at much. Dean Del Rey on Twitter. What's happening with you, Dean? Uh, let's see. Uh, going to La Jolla Comedy Store with Chris Porter next month. So if you're out there, please come out. We're going to be doing a rock and roll show. How fun. And, uh, and Tony's going to be on my podcast, Let There Be Talk, uh, next week. Yep. So there you and, go. Uh, the lovely Sarah Tiana, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Hell yeah. Uh, guys live in this show, uh, stick around because the Ding Dong Show follows this live at 10 o'clock. Um, Iron Patriot. The Iron Patriot. What's thank your name you. on Twitter? At, at, com- comic at Comic Patriot. You could follow the Iron Patriot, give them some notes or some feedback yourself. Uh... Thanks for listening. Thanks, Brian Redman. We do this every Monday, 8 o'clock, guys. And yep. we're following. Next up is the Ding Dong Show, so stick around for the Ding Dong oh, yeah. Show. There you go. Thanks, everybody. I'm here early. I'm here early. Clip plus E. Hey, Don.